This morning, investigators are working to determine how a mother, her son and his girlfriend were killed before they were discovered dead inside their burned home in Cyprus. Investigators say they were already dead when it went up in flames. Our Kathy Hernandez is live outside the home with what's next in the investigation. Kathy. Good morning to you, Zach. Just a horrific story. Three people were killed here inside this home. A mother, her son and his girlfriend. They believe they were all dead before the house went up in flames. This morning, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez released the names of the victims. Kelly Mascarilli, her son, Colin Foster and his girlfriend, Cameron Richard. The medical examiner is set to do an autopsy now on all of them to determine how they died. While the house is badly damaged from that fire, it's not destroyed and that's why investigators think there is enough evidence here to figure out what happened and who is responsible. Investigators say the bodies of a mother, her son and his girlfriend were found inside this home on Plains River Drive about seven o'clock yesterday morning. Detectives believe one person was found on the first floor and the other two were found upstairs. All three had trauma to their bodies. Investigators say an accelerant was used to set the home on fire. They believe the suspect ran out the back of the home after setting it on fire. They also tell us they towed a red Corvette here from the driveway for evidence. They say the son had recently bought the car, but he wasn't the last one inside of it. They do say that the previous owner has been cleared, but they towed that red Corvette away, possibly for evidence. Detectives now are hoping that surveillance video can also help in this investigation. Since we've been out here, one of the neighbors actually told us that they definitely had a ring camera on the door and and you can see that it is taken off. Now, do we know if the investigators did that after the crime or or was it the suspect who did that before he left? We don't know right now. We can see that the ring camera is missing. We also notice other cameras around the house, so detectives will be trying to collect that surveillance video to provide some answers as to what happened and who did it all. Zach, back to you. Just a terrifying situation. Kathy, thank you.